Comrade Chair, Deputy Chair, I always ask this question. That none of our policemen and women in uniform can speak any of the foreign African languages. And the challenge is for us to deal with crime. And you can have all your suspects here. Before they write their statements, they can plan what they are going to say in front of you without you even hearing what they are saying. <coughs> it might be a culture shock to suggest to this REC that if we are serious about fighting crime in World 67, we have no option. But those that are properly documented with proper documents can be recruited to the Johannesburg Metropolis Department. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Once again, welcome to South Africa Lately, a channel where we discuss South African trending news. We do, however, crap here and there from international news when it is trending enough to be brought here. There is no way you can tell me the ANC is serious about winning elections in this country. Even the coming local elections, they are not serious about that one. Because what in the world is going on? You cannot, can't they read the room? That, that there is tension in South Africa. There is tension. South Africans are upset about illegal immigration that they, the ANC, allowed to happen to this level. Do you understand? And now, that Damorero has the chance to say, we want to bring foreign nationals into the JMPD, the documented foreign nationals. This is not the time, even if you're talking about the documented uh, foreign nationals and you're talking Yo, no man, no, something is wrong with the ANC. Somebody has bewitched them. Or maybe people like Tata Morero are the people that have the intentions to kill the ANC any further with their plans. Only them know what, because there is absolutely no way. This disconnection, disconnection that we've been talking about for so long, they are so disconnected from, the, from reality of how the citizens of South Africa are feeling. But if they were, how could anyone that understands how South Africans are feeling come with such a thing at such a time? No, something is fishy here. There is no way. Even the reason that he is putting forward as an excuse to bring foreign nationals to JMPT when they are South Africans that are not employed. He says how oh, because you could arrest the criminals, foreign criminals, and they could be uh, planning another crime as you detaining them, whatever, whatever story. So bringing a foreign national that understands the language that the criminals you are arresting are speaking. So for you to avoid crime, you bring one of their own. <laughs> Somebody come and laugh with me. So you mean now I would understand it's a Sotho, I mean England, and South African Sotho people, they come and commit crime there in England, and I understand what they're talking, and I would just put them on the fryer to fry. Because I understand the language. I must be selling them to, 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 to England police or you know, law enforcement. No. <laughs> No. Uh -uh. So if these people really don't understand African languages, how they are sheltering South African women, how are they in a relationship with South African women, what language is being used? Because the common language that we are using with these people is English. Are they speaking in tongues? Do they come to South Africa and suddenly speak in tongues? that no one can understand except there are people that are coming from where they are coming. So if you employ Zimbabwean now, how are you going to, how is Zimbabwean going to interpret someone from, from, what is he even talking? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Which means now they are going to take people, like as I say, people from Zimbabwe, people from Nigeria, people from where, where, because all of these African languages, what an excuse. They must give us something else for this agenda that they are pushing, but not the one that they are giving us, because even me that doesn't know anything about politics, I know that is just bull. 
I know, I know, I know, I know, and should be rejected in all forms of rejection. Any South African must reject this because we have South Africans that are not employed. And you want to tell us you want to employ, employ foreign nationals because of the language that is, uh, we don't speak their languages. Are they speaking in tongues? How are they working with white people in South Africa? Is it not English they are using? How are they sharing South African women who have children here in South Africa? Is it not English they are using? Please, please, <laughs> please, 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 please. The answer must not come and annoy us. You know, I think there's a different fight that is happening in the ANC. Otherwise, there is absolutely no way, man. Well, however you look at it, there is just absolutely no way. It's like they are intentionally killing the ANC because now there is an alternative that is an MK. For me, for me personally, what Data is saying is like wanting to see the ANC in a coffin and giving the MKs as an alternative. Guys, there is absolutely no way. Like, how could you? It's like they want to finish the ANC completely because there's absolutely no way. Even if there was a plan like that of employing foreign nationals, this is not the time to say it. While we are collecting drugs everywhere, drugs, drug pass left, right and center, there are foreign there are illegal immigrants there. Every, they, and you come in. It's such a hard time. It's such, such a hard time. And you want to say, you want to bring foreign nationals, who have, foreign nationals who have proper documentation to the JMPT. Which ones have proper documentation that are in South Africa? Because we know what brings people to South Africa and you have to have proper documentation to be a South African. Which, which ones is he talking about? Which ones? Hey guys. <laughs> The miracles were saying, can we imagine if there was no JNU? Because this thing comes from Gauteng province. That's where it comes from. Imagine if nationally, nationally we still had the ANC, the entire country being under the ANC if we didn't have the JNU. What was going to happen? You know, after somebody said, after 1994, 2024 is another miracle that we are given to restore our country. My goodness, thank you for watching my videos. This is South Africa Lately, a channel where we discuss South African trending news. We do our ever grab here and there from international news when it is trending enough to be brought here.